I, I had a question from a viewer. He's like, hey, can you talk about um, how you bill for jobs? Because not everything is an hour. And, and I'm like, well, yeah, for sure. We can talk about that. I, I talk about it all the time. The first thing is when you sell a, an initial diagnosis for something like this, you don't sell time. It's, if it took me five minutes to locate that ground, it's because 20 years of experience taught me where to look and how to find that. And should my pay decrease because I've gotten better at it? Should my pay decrease because maybe I've seen that problem before and know how to attack it? Absolutely not. Your pay was higher when you didn't know and you had to research it. Why would it drop? Like that's the, that's the mentality of some people. Um, most customers to be honest with you but no so that's number one don't sell time up front it is up to one hour for the diagnosis so that's five minutes or 60 minutes it's the same price okay we just did that right now this initial diagnosis for this bad ground the o2 sensor code and the o2 sensor fault is not part of that deal it's not I can do some quick tests on that O2 and confirm. Or, or if you want to sell the customer an O2 sensor or Mr. or Mrs. customer, go ahead, change the O2. If that doesn't fix it, it's not my problem. We'll communicate well, make sure that you understand that. But we don't work for free. That O2 sensor, I am not here to look at that O2 sensor. I am here to look at this problem of it not starting so the guy can't get his work done. It's a work vehicle. I'm here for the no start stalling misfiring condition. Okay. Hope that helps. How you want to proceed with the O2 fault. That's on you customer communications key.